Augmented and virtual reality are capable of so much more than just games, big screens and entertainment. And people like you who understand this will have a massive advantage over the people who do not. The big problem today is still with bias agencies and overhyped marketing that really makes it difficult to differentiate between use cases that actually make sense and work and drive massive business value versus the ones that just waste millions of your budget and years of your life. In this video, I will share how you can use AR and VR to actually drive massive business value based on real experience. And I will promise you, you will have a much better fundamental understanding of what use cases actually work and which one are really just uh, hype and uh, BS. If you don't know me, my name is Dinesh and I have been working in the XR industry for almost a decade now. We work with XR companies like Meta and enterprise partners that use XR technologies like Puma, Cupra, Zalando, many more, and uh, connect those with our community at Immersive Insiders. I'm a public speaker on this topic. I consult XR and non-XR companies in this field and we create events bringing XR companies, enterprise partners and the XR community together to really push the boundary of what this technology is capable of. But now let's get started. Training is just the holy grail of showing why VR is so much more uh, superior to pretty much any other medium. Why? Because well, you learn best by doing. Much better than reading about something, than watching video or hearing something. You just learn best if you actually do the thing. And in VR, you can really do the thing. But it's not just about getting the muscle memory in by repeating the same action and really getting a much more efficient training. There's even other interesting um, benefits to using VR for training. Since you are fully immersed in the virtual fields, which means that you don't see the actual world, depending on the use case, of course, you are completely distraction free and can really focus on the task at hand. And you can create any scenario you want your employee to go through. Additionally to that, you can also record every movement. You can record like the, the hand, the fingers, even the eyes, how the, the person was focusing on specific elements to then even replay it back to the person or also to somebody evaluating this person, which is just something you can't really do in real life. So this person could practice on their own just from the comfort of their home. You could even have multiplayer sessions with a trainer also doing all of that in real time. And then you can even simulate um, like making evaluations and kind of like an exam where the person goes through all the steps without any hints and then you can give them like points on how well they did also. Other than that, you get instant feedback on whatever you did for improvement. It's a lot more fun and gamified because of this. Um, it's highly customizable, we talked about that already, and it's massively scalable. Like Lufthansa, for example, trains 20,000 plus stewardesses in VR, and there are many other use cases or many other bigger companies that use VR for training. So this is just something that makes so much sense. And you can also do the training much more safely. There could be a lot more discussed here, and if you like the topic, if you like the kind of area this is going, please let me know in the comments, because this helps me to identify which kind of videos make sense, and. Uh, uh, if you like that etc and we see that we can create more of those videos but again we can make a whole video just on that use case alone but now let's move on to safety we just talked about that Imagine your company is working with heavy machines, explosive and toxic elements, and you need to train your new staff with um, how to use those machines and um, equipment properly. And of course, you are understaffed on trainers. Some are sick, some are on vacation, some are just unavailable, the churn is pretty high, but now we still have to onboard 50 new people from across multiple locations. And uh, this makes it really difficult already. Now, one of the freshly trained employees is making a mistake on one of these 12 steps on how to operate that machine and the hand gets crushed and I don't think I need to dive deeper in why we should um, try to avoid those situations and why it's crucial to take any measurement to reduce the risk and um, those kind of situations. Quick disclaimer before I move on, of course there are a lot of safety measurements that has to be in place, especially by law and VR or AR is not going to replace any of those, but any chance that helps um, you or in general to reduce the risk of those um, accidents or injuries is extremely crucial. In VR, if you miss one of these 12 steps, same way, you also lose a hand but you only lose a virtual hand. And the cool thing is the, good, the shock should be good enough that this person now remembers exactly how to operate that machine. But the good thing is it's not just training where XR can massively increase the safety. You can use XR also for improving your workspace safety to find potential errors in your 
uh, way of how the machines and everything is arranged and maybe like you didn't have the perfect way like um, emergency exit or something like this you can drill on emergency responses if you are working in an industry where there are like common emergencies you can practice those as well and also really important you can use it for remote assistance and troubleshooting just imagine like climbing up a tower or something like this and then having somebody explaining how the how to fix the control system of the tower and that person has like an ipad here and a pen here and like no way to actually hold themselves having a headset on everything hands-free and communicating just via voice makes it a little bit easier and safer also to um, actually do the operation correctly and this is also just something that is already being used a lot in different industries another really nice use case i like a lot is also the whole design and layout planning for your factory for example or any area that um, you want to have uh, equipment machines offices whatever we actually had a software that could do that and uh, we did this with offices and kitchens where you can simulate different scenarios and just with the finger of a snap just with the snap of a finger you can switch out the entire layout in seconds and also like kind of like getting a feeling of how things are positioned relatively to the actual room and of course i don't need to tell you how much of a logistical nightmare that's saved of moving furniture away all the time especially if you have a bigger space so this was actually extremely crucial for a lot of um, time and cost savings which is our next point of course cost savings really depend on a lot of factors it depends on the industry on the size of the business even on the department so there are a lot of variables that play into here and there are probably like dozens of um, specific niche industry use cases and i want to share one example here to really like light up this benefit also again here of course we can make a whole video on that so let me know in the comments if that is something that you want to do but um, let me show you what i mean lufthansa had a really interesting project recently a case study of the new allegres Allegris, Allegris, I think, project where they had the new business seats. Really simple. I will link the case study also in the description. The more important thing where they drove in 80% cost savings was that instead of building the whole thing all the time when they were showcasing this at, at fairs and conferences, they just had a seat and a VR headset or an XR headset to showcase the whole thing, which enabled them to show it to 10,000 plus people within six months. And... Um, according to the case study helped them to save 80 to 90 percent of costs which is just incredible just think about the logistical nightmare that got saved by not building the whole thing all the time wherever you go and you can really showcase your product and this goes for literally any bigger product even smaller products this goes for a lot of things where you can just take the headset and showcase the thing to your customer rather than building it up all the time of course always take those case studies with a little bit grain of salt we never know the exact situation and how they got measured etc but um it just there's so many of those use cases we also implemented that a lot for our enterprise partners where they had um, products sometimes bigger machines sometimes smaller machines that they wanted to showcase to their customers without having to take the whole thing all the time and of course it makes a lot of sense and the best thing is this was just one example and there are so many ways xr can introduce a lot of cost savings this could be ranging from reduced training and onboarding costs of course we talked about this already in the training thing especially when you have multiple people across um, different locations because this is like a common theme with xr you can really do everything remotely and very very well actually also also remote maintenance and repairs so you don't need to fly in a high level engineer to fix a screw of course over exaggerating but uh, to fix any little detail all the time then we of course also have the saving of um, travel costs and time of the traveling which not just for the engineer on the remote maintenance but it also goes for the training it also goes for some meetings it also gets for um, product testing it goes for many things where instead of having a meeting you can do those things virtually one big thing here i'm not claiming that we will now do everything in vr this is kind of ridiculous of course but um, instead of meeting like 16 times per year you can also just do it like three times or 
whatever number you want to do. So this technology, really important, it's not about replacing every human existing possible. Like we will still meet face to face, we will still have handshakes, we will still have meetings, we will still do stuff in person in an inefficient, uh, travel expensive way. And the job is here to reduce the amount of how much we do it when it's not necessary to fly in a person for doing a quick thing, for example. So just here, always take those things nuance. It's never an absolute. And uh, I hate this when people are like, yeah, we will never meet in person again. This technology is doomed. It's uh, trying to destroy our lives. Like, guys, try to... <laughs> use the technology as a tool and not again to replace every human existence possible. Sorry, rant over. And the last thing I want to talk about, you can also save a lot of costs by doing product iterations in XR, which is also extremely interesting and has been used for many years already. And this is the next benefit I want to talk about. Prototyping and product iterations is to XR like gin is to tonic or Germans to uh, bureaucracy and paperwork. Prototyping is so powerful, we even use it in our XRCC hackathon to plan out the rooms and to really get a feeling of um, how many tables we need to put, put in what places. And again, I talked about that previously already when we use this for kitchens and for offices. So this is something that also works um, in a wide range of use cases. And I want to share one of those. So Bell Helicopter, which um, used VR to prototype its new model, it was the FCX001 and six months, which usually takes five to six years. And this is just crazy on how much product iteration there could be saved. Again, all according to the case study, I will also link it below, but it makes a lot of sense really, because instead of building everything all the time as a physical mock-up, you can really just put on the VR headset, on the engineer, on the designer, on all of these stakeholders actually, to really get a feeling of how it is to sit in this environment. And of course, this also goes for cars or any product really, um, especially when you want to feel the dimensions. So for example, I don't know, you have like the seat and the other one is over here and you want to move it like on the left side to like 20 centimeters. Of course, you don't want to build a new one, move it there and then like, ah, maybe 25 centimeters there. And then you're like out of the safety measurement and you have to build the whole thing again. And when you can just do it in VR. And of course, this is just like a massive, massive waste of time. If you just keep rebuilding the thing and kind of doing this iteration and then it doesn't work again. Probably that's how they build the Berlin airport. I wish they watched the video. It could save a little bit of time and money by just iterating it in VR and not all the time a new mock-up. I hope you really see how important it is to drive the value out of like fundamental understanding of how these technologies can be helpful and not trying to build the next metaverse platform and uh, having nobody using that and wasting millions of your budget. So to not jump on like every trend that's coming. The, there are a lot of use cases. And um, of course, I will talk about many more of those depending on the use case, depending on the industry and depending on the level of um, detail you want to see here. Now in this video, we talked about concrete business use cases already with some examples also, but we haven't talked much about the actual fundamental USP that XR has really. So what differentiates this from other mediums and uh, where are the strengths, where are the weaknesses on what this technology is capable of. This is super, super, super important. And I talked about that in this video here uh, for VR and one for AR. So if you want to also like know a little bit on, on more on depth about this and really check out this video. It's going to help you a lot in formulating your own use cases and not waste millions of budget and uh, years of your time and get um, embarrassed by building something that doesn't make any sense. So thank you so much for watching and check out this video.